Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy, be back with you once again for another edition of Big Jobs Wheel of Fortune right here at MVG Productions. Glad you can join me here on this one. All right, on today's episode, we're gonna do, we're gonna throw it back. We're gonna throw it way back. Like, so far back that we're gonna be upset that we didn't throw it back sooner, but you know, I'm feeling sort of retro-ish today. So on today's episode of Wheel of Fortune, we're gonna go all the way back to when Chuck Woolery was still hosting the show, and when it re-debuted after the failed pilots of Shopper's Bazaar, and we need to know the Wheel of Fortune as we knew it then. Chuck Woolery was at the helm. This was circa 1975-ish, somewhere in there. So anyway, we have the classic original set, so we're gonna be using that today, along with the set of wheels from the 70, uh, October of 1975. Now back then during Wheel of Fortune, they only did three rounds. So allowing for the time and adjusting for everything, I put the first round wheel where it's supposed to be. The second round wheel we'll play for rounds two and three. And should we get to the third, the fourth round, we'll play the third wheel from there. So I figure that balances it out from what we've got. And we gotta go, we gotta go way back on the uh, the old visuals element. So there we go. That's what we're gonna be doing there. And I'm gonna be playing today with uh, my friend Jason and Jen. Are gonna be our computer players for today. A couple of longtime wrestling friends of mine. And now to make it era appropriate on this one, I've disabled um, the toss-ups. I've disabled all the prize puzzles, but I've left the extended timer because sometimes I'm just slow. But anyway, with that said, let's get retro on this one as we play some classic edition. A Wheel of Fortune. Let's go. There you go. There we go. That's the original set right there. This is Wheel of Fortune. Thanks, Kate. Let's get to it. Let's take a look at this wheel for round number one. Now, I did not make any alterations to these wheels. These are as they were from the original era. So, in October of 1975, round one wheel looked like this. We have the bankrupt, the loser turn, the free spin, and the top dollar the amount of the wheel is $500. Now, unfortunately, with Big John's version, I cannot recompense the... Um, game for where it will allow for less than a thousand dollars per win but you know it it was it's still fine with these amounts so it can be achieved so let's play i think we can possibly give you two jason yes, starts off with two ends gets himself two hundred dollars now unfortunately val still costs 250 back in there they, which actually that wish i could change that too because the valves i believe during the 75 era, we're still 200 at the time. Not bad. There's one. Oh, we'll pay 250. It's all right. This makes you very cautious of what letters you purchase in the game now. This is up to 600 as he spins the wheel. And he makes that other side for $100. Takes an R. Well, hip hop hooray. There are two of them in the box. Yep. Two R's. Puts them up to 800 bucks now. Now, by this time in current wheel, you'd probably be up to around twenty-five to three thousand dollars. Twenty-five hundred to three thousand. Here we go, big money, five hundred dollars. Buy one, get one free. There's two. There you go. Buy. That's worth a thousand dollars there. Eighteen hundred is what Jason has now. He spins the wheel again. It feels good sometimes. You think of like all the gimmicks and stuff that Wheel of Fortune has nowadays to keep people interested in it, which don't get me wrong, it's nice. So a lot of people say that I'm very mean when I have these conversations with you. So I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to let the sound effect speak for itself. Was 
Was it any better? Really? Next player. I'm sorry, you always have to pause for the soul. <laughs> God, I love coming to America. Thank you again, John. If you ever see this, thank you for just putting that in the game. I appreciate that more than you'll ever know. But back to what I was saying. It's cool about all the different gimmicks and gadgets and things that Wheel of Fortune puts in the game now, but sometimes you just gotta strip it down and play the classic game that it was intended to be, like we're doing for this episode here. I got $100, let me have an S. And I will say no. Alright, Jen's up. And Jen picking up a free spin. I see somebody's interested in some cardboard. Shiny, shiny cardboard, cardboard at that. that. See, I'll admit, that's where I stole my shiny cardboard line. It, it's King. I, I always give it credit to him, but I'm like, it was nice when I did it. And unfortunately, Jen may have to give up said shiny cardboard right now if she wants to keep her turn. There's the bankrupt hits, and she does. Gives up that token, and she's going to spin again. And not pick up another one, but gets 200 this time. There be. Will hip hop hooray. There are two of them in the puzzle. There you go. Jen's on the bar of $400 there. Yeah, another thing about playing the retro wheel in this one is because with the final spin when it, when we get to it, it's still going to add a thousand dollars to it, which could those. be a game breaker. But hey, it's my ketchup mogul in this case, so I'm just going to use it for what it is. So. But hopefully, you guys are enjoying uh, Wheel of Fortune month here on the channel. I have had a lot of fun going through all these. You're in luck. Giving you some yeah, different looks at Wheel of Fortune from back in the day. And the next episode's going to be fun, because I'm going to definitely just throw some curveball stuff out there. Actually, I'll just go ahead and tell you now, the next episode, I'm going to give you a peek of what Wheel of Fortune looked like when I first saw it as a kid. Now, mind you, for those of you who don't know, I was born in 1984. My earliest memory of watching Wheel of Fortune was probably somewhere between 87 and 88. So we're probably going to go with the classic setup and um, some wheels from that era, so... Be on the lookout for that next week. But right now, Jason is celebrating. Is kill is killing the board right now. I don't know why I said celebrating. I don't know. I'm like I'm a little loopy today. I'm not gonna lie, folks. A lack of sleep plus recording a lot of videos over the past week or so, just because I'm getting ready to take some a mini vacation. Not not a big one, but one enough to bear I'm gonna take some time away from YouTube for a minute. But I still want to have content for you guys, so. And there we go, Jason's got it with 1550, celebrating a big promotion. Nice off there. Good job. So yeah, you're still going to have content Monday through Friday, so don't worry. I'm just recording a bunch of these ahead of time to give myself that time for the little vacation. Because your boy needs a break. Even though, like I said, even though technically I got over one recently, I've never just stopped making videos. I always wanted to make sure you guys at home have content here that you can watch, so. That's what I'm doing just for y'all, so hope you appreciate it. But anyway, we're getting into round number two, where I'm going to start this time. We now have a $750 space at the top dollar amount on the wheel for round two. The category is phrase. And we're playing a phrase this time. All right. Let's see if we can't get ourselves $750. Here we go. And the other free spin space is gone, and I'm not going to make it. Yeah, free spam was only available, I believe, in round one, according to the uh, game. So we just have pretty much straight cash, lose a turn, bankrupts, all that fun stuff out here for round two. $100. Jam picks an L. Will hip hop hooray. There are two of them in the puzzle. And he gets two L's. Let us spin again. And will she get out of the way? No, she will not. Bankrupt gets her too. All right, Jason, back to you. A couple big amounts out there, 600 and a 750. Jason's gonna pick up 150. Says K. You're in luck. We have one. There's a K.
Go spin again. Will he get out of there again? No, he will not make it. Loser! Shout out to Wheel 2000 for the loser space there. So, pass that up, and it's going to come back to me, and I'm going to try to get back in this game. Let's go. And will it hold? No, it will not. 150. Um, T. No T's. Over to Jen. And Jen's gonna fail as well. Everybody's sipping on that fail sauce in this one. Back to Jason. Just one B for $150. Up to $300, you can actually buy a Val now. I don't believe it. You know how many there are? Four? Two. Ah, okay. All right, I think I know it. I said to can control the wheels. Jason down to 50 bucks, so he's got either spin or so. And will he make it? Yes, he will, 150. C. Yep, there's the C. Got 200 bucks. I'm going to spin again, but he still doesn't have enough to buy a valve. Here comes a good payday, 600 D? Well, how about that? There are none of those in this puzzle. Congratulations. Ah, sorry, Jason. My turn. There's a couple letters left on the wheel, or left on the board, I should say. And I'm going to see if I can't get paid on at least one of them. Come on, one more, one more, one more. Uh, I got 200. I'll take the P, please. Well, what do you know? There's one. There it is. Got the P for 200. Maximum spinach! With the ringing of the bell. And I'm going to land on about 350. Take a Y. There's two Ys. Hooking up to $900. Nothing but vows left, so I'm going to solve it. I'll pay you back. There it is. All right, no get the you extra hundred for bumping up to right the house the minimum of thousand dollars again. So two rounds, two winners so far here on Wheel of Fortune. I've got a thousand dollars. Jason's got fifteen fifty in the lead right now. Jen's gonna see if she can get on the board as we move into our third round of play. Same wheel as same wheel as round two here. Top dollar amount is seven hundred and fifty dollars in cash on the wheel. As we take a look at the wheel once again for our third round. And there it is once again. In 750 top dollar amount and this puzzle. The category is song lyrics. Oh, I like song lyrics. A lot of letters up there, a lot of money to be made. Let's see if Jan can do it. Again, if I hadn't said it but at the top of the episode, which I might not have. But again, thank you for spending part of your day here with me at MVG Productions. I, I do you appreciate each are? and every view you guys give me. I uh, thank you for all the love you've been giving me, all the subscriber support recently. Well, at least as of the time of recording this one, I just passed 550 subscribers. Slowly working our way up to that 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. We could make it, but again, I need, I need you guys' help. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you like my content, you want to see more, make sure you hit that Buy subscribe one, button one down free. below and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the funny games Bye. I'm doing here on the channel. Again, new episodes of your favorite game shows, past, present, and future, come at you Monday through Friday with a Saturday series going on right now, which once I finally get that one done, whenever that may be at this point, because I was hoping to be done with it by 30 episodes in, but... Still haven't made it yet, so 
We're gonna, we're gonna keep playing on until it actually happens. But when we get there, it's gonna be fun. I do have another series coming up after it, but you'll have to stick around to see what that one is. That one's gonna be a surprise. But it's something I have mentioned before. I I'll give you that clue. I've mentioned it once or twice, maybe. There are through three various stooges. videos, but I have not. Chipmunks. I'm not gonna say anymore. I'll let you think about uh, it. See if you can figure out what it is. If you know, if you think you know what. You know what that next Saturday series is? Uh, leave, a one, leave your guesses two, in the comment below. Three. There's three of them. Anyway, Jen picks up an O. She's got half the puzzle already solved for fourteen hundred dollars in her bank as she spins the wheel again. Now, mind you, fourteen hundred dollars in back in nineteen seventy-five went a lot farther than fifteen hundred dollars today. I mean. There are some household incomes right now where $1,500 is about your monthly bill income. Mine, sadly, is slightly above that because of my issues with my truck that I'm having to still pay for, so. But yeah, I would have killed to have $1,500 in the 70s. I would have felt like I actually had some money in my pocket. Gas was less than a dollar a gallon. Um, grocery, well, that's okay. average you grocery trip was like that money anyway. 40 to 50 bucks. I'll just take that off your hands. But anyway, okay. uh, it, it was, it's all sorts of different things. Hell, my brothers were kids in the 70s. I wasn't even around. 75, I wasn't going to be, sh I wasn't showing up on the scene for another 10 years after that, at that point. So I couldn't even tell you. Anyway, we're back to Jason as he gets $300. I don't believe it. You know how many they are? One. I guess an M for that $300. And there's a couple letters left up there. He's going to well, buy an I. There are two of them in the closet. Picks up those eyes there. We're down to 50 bucks. Jason's going to spin it. I actually just might straight up solve it and not even bother spinning the wheel to try to earn that more than a thousand. I don't see it happening, at least in this round, if it gets to me. We'll see what happens. 150 for Jason. W. There's the Way to double W. Up. There's two. Yeah, two W's actually. Plus another to about tree fitty. And will he solve it? No, he'll buy the E. There is Uno. That's one in Spanish. There it is. One E. Spinner solve with his $100. I so say you guys probably can guess what the puzzle is by now. If you can't, ah, not much I can help you with there. And will he fall victim again? No, he'll make it 400. He takes the D. Dear I King, why don't your clothes match in your videos? You should stay consistent on your continuity. Signed, Annoying Fanboy on Big John PC Games Forum. By the way, no, that letter's not in the puzzle. I know, right? Anyway, my turn. Uh, three letters up on the board. I gotta try. I gotta try to see if I can do better than a thousand. Not a lot of bad spaces out on the board. So, um, let's just see if we can do it. Sorry, 300. Give me the K. Some money in my pocket there. And we'll spin again. Come on, anything above, like... 400. 400 or better will give me a chance at this. And I'm going to get 150. Why? Because I spun it. You're in luck. We have one. There's the Y. Put it up there. Leaves me 450, and I'm going to go again. And when I get to 715, no, I'll get 200. Gee. I at least tried. I got 650 left, and I'm. You know what? There's no point in it because I'm going to get the $1,000 anyway. I want to buy a Val A. Just so I can be lazy. I think we can possibly give you two. There's two. Yes. I'll solve the puzzle. Yes. I know that my heart will go on. I'm not singing it. Just, just not up to it today. But there we go. Thousand dollar house minimum is what I get for that job, one. Man. Way to go. So that's gonna put me now up to two thousand dollars and give me the lead. But again, with the final spin coming, Jen's still well within the reach of winning this game. Jason not too far behind. 
So let's go to round four and take a look at what the final round of wheel looks like. And speaking of wheel, folks, I should make a reminder, we're just a couple weeks away from the series debut of Wheel of Fortune here on the channel. And there it is, our final wheel. We have $1,000 space on the wheels, our top dollar amount. The category is phrase. And phrase is the category, and Jason's going to start this fourth round. Yes, yeah, series debut in just a couple weeks of Wheel of Fortune. So I'm looking forward to doing that. So hopefully you guys are looking forward to watching that. I'm trying to keep it as close to the TV series as I can, but I may have to make some adjustments Not as bad. we go There's through. One. But uh, you'll see it once we get it going. Anyway, Chase has got 700. And he's going to spin again. And he's going to hit that fail spot. He likes a dose of that fail sauce, so. I'm going to spin the wheel. Here we go. We now see an 800, a 900, and a $1,000 space on the wheel in this round. So our biggest space is yet. And here comes a 900 if we can get it. Now I've got about tree 50. T. Well, wouldn't you know it, we have three of them. There we go. That's $1,050. Most money I've had in my bank in any one round at this point. And oh, and look. There's that final spending. Time to go to work. King? That sound means final spin. My turn! There we go. Final spin. Of course, we're playing by modern rules. Spin the wheel, ask the letter of the puzzle. We'll have a couple seconds to solve it. Vowels worth nothing. Consonants will be worth $1,000 plus. Looking like $100. So $1,100 bucks a letter on this one. So whoever solves this one, probably going to win the game. And it's my turn for the letter. N. Two N's. It's going to be $32.50. And I can't solve it. Jan, over to you. This point, I need. Well, as soon as I know it, I need to solve it because whoever gets this one is probably winning the game. Not there. Jason takes a V. Not bad. There's one. How y'all picking these random letters and finding them in the puzzle? I'm mildly impressed. Doesn't know it. How about an S? Alright, I've got enough money to win it now. I just need to solve it. We've only got one of them. Good for you. Not so much help. Though. Picks up a U. Jason picks up an M. We've only got one of them. Good for you. Not so much help, though. I gotta get a vowel. E. One, two, three. Of them in the puzzle. don't know it. I thought that might have been enough to give it to me, but it's not. G. Well, hip hop hooray. There are two of them in the puzzle. Jason picks the D. Dear Iking, why don't your clothes match in your videos? You should stay consistent on your continuity. Sign. Annoying fanboy on Big John PC Games forum. By the way, no, that letter's not in the puzzle. Oh, H. I know it now. Oh, this should add up pretty nicely. There's four of them in the puzzle. Nice. Nice pick up there. And I'm going to solve the puzzle. I taught him... Everything 
he knows. There it is. Well, look at you over here solving puzzles. Congratulations, you've done it. Good stuff. I would have picked up another thousand. You take off a thousand dollars for each one of those. I had seven fifty. When I finished the game with ten thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, which would be astounding for the seventy-five era, but I'm still gonna get a shot of the bonus round. So, Jason gets fifteen fifty for playing for solving that first puzzle. Jen normally would go home with a consolation of two hundred dollars back in the day, but because it's modern times, we're gonna give her a thousand. Thanks for playing. And now, yours truly, and the bonus land. See if we can get that $100,000 prize on the bonus wheel here. Now again, also back in 75, I think they would love right. to pick out which prize you, they wanted to play for in the bonus, the bonus round. round. So, only thing to do now is spin that wheel, and let's see what you'll be playing for. But since we don't have the option to pick prizes here, we're just going to spin the old bonus wheel. First cash amounts up here from thirty thousand all the way up to one of these envelopes worth a hundred thousand dollars. And looks like we're gonna step on the in and spin. Let's see how well we can do as we take a look at our final puzzle of the day. The category is phrase. All right, starting a phrase. Now back in the day, they would you'd have to pick five consonants in a vowel. But we're going to start with the RSTL and an E already. So we're playing modern bonus round rules here. Again, these customizable features, I'm asking for a lot. Right, I know it's down. never going to happen. But Solve hey, it would be cool if we could do it. Three consonants, one vowel. But anyway, uh, let's see what we got. Um, huh. All right. Let's go. C. G. I just feel like there's a G up there somewhere. M and N. I. I'm gonna get a couple letters. Oh, I'm gonna three. Okay. Hey. Oh. Okay. I got this. Pick the right ones. Twenty seconds. Phrase of the category. All I have to do is solve this and remain calm. All right. Crack that envelope. Let's see what we got. And today we have one nice chunk of cash. I will happily take that. That is 40 grand in my pocket. Added to what I won during the main game. Giving me a grand total today of $50,750 all in cash. Like I said, had I won that much back in the classic era wheel, I would have had to retire at this point. But hey, I'm not even mad at that. But hey, that's this episode of Wheel of Fortune. Hope you like the retro style. We're going to the, we're going to the late 80s, early 90s next time here on Wheel of Fortune. But until then, thank you so much for watching. Remember, if you like the series and want to see more of it, check the playlist on the channel. If you want to see the other great game shows we have here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell. That way you never miss out on all the fun and games going down here at MVG Productions. Help me reach my 1,000 subscriber goal by the end of 2019. But in the meantime, between time, till the wheel comes spinning your way once again, it's your boy B, Brandon Scarg, saying thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time for more Wheel of Fortune. Take care. Bye for now, folks.